In this video, I will show you how to capture images with the BLK3D. Let's start off by starting the Reality Capture function and turning to the object that we would like to measure. And the first thing we see are the two cameras. So we see the left camera is covering the whole screen and then the right camera is in the top right corner. And this is very important because it can happen sometimes that when we are holding the device, we will be covering one of the cameras. So let's make sure we are holding the camera in a way that will not be covering any lenses. And this holding position is also very intuitive because at the top of the device, there is also a capturing button. So one more thing before we start capturing, let's make sure our image has very nice exposure. So if you have any dark or bright spots, we can just click on them and then exposure will be adjusted to them. We can also use the slider up and down to adjust it manually. Now we are ready to capture. So all we need to do is just target that object and start. After the first image, of course, we want to be sure that we have good accuracy. And this is what the software tells us we should do to achieve that. So you see we have some errors now. And these errors indicate that the software would like to have some more information behind to achieve this high accuracy in a photo. So it means that we can go either left or right by the amount indicated and just capture another shot of the same object. And you can repeat this process up to four times. This will give the software enough information to have a very good accuracy also on 15 meters of distance. And the amount of shots you should do really depends on what's the distance to your object. So for example, if you're really close, just one is enough. But if you're further away, then two, three or four are required to have a very good accuracy. Now you're ready to do your own measurements. Just make sure you're following the guidance on the app if it tells you to go left or right to increase the accuracy, as well as that the object that you we would like to measure is visible in all of the shots. And with this practice, you'll be able to achieve the highest possible accuracy.